We're doing this again. It's the equipment tier list, which is the shorthand name of it. The long form name of it is ranking every accessory and armor and mount and other utility in Terraria. It's the third tier list. I've included, I think, every accessory and armor, every mount, every light pet, every pet um, for PC 1.3.5. What's the latest version? Probably that one. Uh, Terraria. So if it, any of the console and mobile exclusives are not going to be on this list, anything that like was removed in an older version or, or comes out in 1.4 obviously will not be on this list. Um, so if you're seeing an item that's not there, that's probably why. Um, if you're seeing an item that's on PC 1.3.5 that isn't on this list, that means I screwed up. That's something I'm very good at and you can feel free to let me know and if I did miss something, I'll like give it a rating in the comments, in the pinned comment. Speaking of which, if you are not here to watch a giant spiel, uh, there's a timestamp probably somewhere on screen directing you to where to go for when the tier list starts. There will also be timestamps in the description and comments uh, giving you an alphabetized list of locations on the list because this whole thing is in alphabetical order. So if there's something in particular that you want to see, uh, you can use one of those timestamps to find it. I obviously can't timestamp all 400 items. That would take way too long. And... Um, would be a really large comment, so I'm gonna not do that. But thank you for suggesting that. For those of you on YouTube who, or anywhere really, who keep asking me about the Calamity tier list, I'm working on it. It, okay, so when I created the Calamity tier list idea, I knew a lot about the list and the devs were working on their own list and then that happened. And immediately after making their list, they changed like 80% of the weapons in Calamity. So I have to retest them all myself. That's gonna take me like 10 hours. And I don't have very much time right now because I'm currently in the process of moving. It will happen though, it's on the way. Do not be afraid, okay? The rules of this list are pretty similar to the other ones. We're gonna be ranking things to, based upon how useful they are, obviously. Second, how, uh, for for some accessories, we'll have some exceptions depending upon if, if their other qualities outweigh this, but how hard is it to obtain certain items can in fact impact their ranking. Um, a great example on screen is the ancient armor sets. I, uh, I don't feel much sympathy for them in having such a ridiculous drop rate, but there's a good example. Things that are iconic will also get boosted. This rule gets missed a lot by people watching the videos and will continue to get missed a lot. If something is really high on the list, uh, there's a chance it's there because it's iconic and people recognize it and it's a major part of Terraria. Um, that doesn't mean it's the best accessory in the game. I'm not telling you that Terra Blade is the best weapon in the game. Shut up, stop saying that. I didn't say it, why are you saying it? And besides that, those are the main reasons for ranking things. I will describe any other particular decisions in ranking as I put them on the list. So open your ears and you'll probably be less confused, but people are probably skipping this part anyway and they will continue to complain in the comments. And honestly, that's half the fun. This, this list is largely for my own enjoyment and for everyone else's misery because no one likes these things. They just watch them to get mad at me. Which is a good reason to watch a video, to be fair. Anyway, without further ado, we're gonna get started. I am woefully underprepared for this. There are a lot of things that I'm going to have to just look at stats for because that's what a lot of these things are. But that's okay. The more things I get wrong, the more things that people can yell at me for. And that's, once again, what this is all about. Who wants to rank Actuation Rod? I know I do. I've never used actuators in my entire life. I have not touched an actuator ever. That being said, actuators are actually kind of good. You can use actuators to create sub biomes without having to have a bunch of tiles in the way. You can use actuators to enter the temple without having a temple key available to you. Um, and it can break the altar, which is stupid. So that's pretty good. Uh, considering those two things, actuator red is all right. We'll put it like C tier. Might as well. Adamantite armor set. As you can see, armor sets are combined into one thing because ranking the individual armors uh, would be a little bit annoying. I, I also think it's just most applicable to consider the set as a whole. As somebody who consistently fishes in this game, I want to put it in F tier because if you fish, you can always have titanium. But it is good if you don't want to fish. Uh, it is the best hard mode armor set, arguably. So I'm going to put it at B tier. I don't know how high in B tier it's going to be, but it's going to be there for now. And that's that. Adhesive bandage. 
Pretty sure this one just makes you immune to bleeding. Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody actually uses this. I think they just get it to turn it into the Onk Shield. I, I mean, yeah, like, let's be real. There are a couple debuffs in this game that matter. Bleeding is really not one of them. Sorry, adhesive bandage. Aglet. So Aglet by itself is pretty not very useful, but when you get it in the game, it is relatively useful and it's used for crafting the boot upgrades. That being said, it, its usefulness is really only that nothing else is in your inventory yet. So we're gonna put it in D tier. Let's be real, if you get anything else, you replace Aglet first. We like, that's the one thing we all have in common as Straria players. When we run out of accessory slots, Aglet goes. Amber Horseshoe Balloon. The classic weapon from the weapons tier list. <laughs> I think I got like a, a handful of comments about this not being a weapon. Shut up, it is. All right. It does damage. It's directly sourced from the player. It is very, very good for a single accessory slot. That being said, it's a lot to get. I don't want to put it in C tier, personally. I think I want to put it in low B tier because it is like a lot of very good, cool things to have all in one accessory, but it just takes so long to get. You would, I mean, this is basically a stars aligned kind of item that I doubt most people know exists. In fact, it'll be at top of C tier instead and not bottom of B tier. Amber Mosquito. I'm personally not a huge fan of the Amber Mosquito, but I know there is a uh, large enough quantity of people that are a fan of the Amber Mosquito. And that's why ranking pets is the worst idea on the planet because I just have to assume what other people like. So he gonna go up here in low B tier because I think a reasonably large amount of people like this guy, but not, he's not S tier pet. No way, no how. The Amethyst Hook is, if I remember correctly, the worst of the gem hooks. However, the Amethyst Hook is also like the hook I think I've used the most out of the gem hooks. And for that, I'm going to put it at high B tier. And my reasoning for this is as such, the gem hooks themselves, with the exception of like the really high end stuff like diamond, the differences between them don't really matter. All you care about in pre-hard mode is that you have a hook, not that you have a good hook. So being able to get one quickly uh, without too much hassle is ideal. I frequently make this before I make the standard grappling hook. So I'm going to put it in B tier because it's very easy to get, serves its purpose as well as you need it when you need it, and absolutely nothing more. Okay, Amethyst Robe. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have not used and have never seen anybody else use the robes. They are nifty, honestly. I think they are nifty, but I have never seen a single person on the planet used them. I'm sure that they're like, all right, but you could just get the other armor sets and just, it's it's unnecessary, but it is good. So I will put it at low D tier because it is usable. Maybe I'll put this one at high E tier because it's like one of the lowest tier ones, but it is usable. Uh, ancient Cobalt Armor. Two thumbs up. Ancient Horn. This summons the Basilisk guy. I have uh, a sneaking suspicion that a lot of people are very, very big fans of this item. I got uh, multiple comments complaining about my placement of it on the weapons tier list in the past. And and usually that's an indicator that people do like something. <laughs> you only really use about three mounts in Terraria. So for the rest of them, I have to rank them off of uh, some other standards which differentiate them. And this one, is fairly uncommon and fairly popular amongst people and is probably as close as you can get to being a usable mount without actually being a usable mount. That's my opinion anyway. Ancient shadow armor. I mean, you can go there, but you're not going anywhere else. Angel wings. Here's the thing. If you're getting angel wings, you're probably not very experienced in Terraria. And that's okay. I think angel wings are, are the big introductory to wings in Terraria. I think most people craft these to start out or, or the dark wings, right? So for their purpose as an introductory wing, I will give them some credit because they are important. And if I recall, these were the only wings for a while. You should not get these wings. If you are new to the game, there are better wings that you can get. I think the most popular wing to get is leaf wings. So if you're new, look up leaf wings. You can just buy them and they're way better. And this game is terrible. 
I'm gonna put this at the bottom of B tier, personally. Um, it, it should be like low C tier, maybe high D tier, but I'm gonna put it at the bottom of B just because of its its purpose as, as introducing people to what wings are. Angler armor set, S tier, fishing is great. Fishing is the best. If you hate fishing, you hate fu- Okay, but actually it's probably like high C tier. If you are fishing, getting the angler set is a reasonable time save. It's pretty good. Um, it's not super relevant to most players because I think the majority of people don't like fishing. I personally am always super excited to get a piece of the angler set because it's just a free bonus. Makes me happy, makes me feel the good happy emotions in my heart. Similarly, the angler earring also makes me feel those things, but I'm gonna put it lower than the angler armor because it's not as good. Uh, angler tackle bag, on the other hand, I'm putting it up here. It is good. It is really, really good. If you are fishing like ever, this is what you want to have no matter what. Like you always want to have this beautiful, precious boy. He is there for you. He prevents your line from snapping. He increases your fishing power and he makes you less likely to consume bait. That is very good. That is very cool and good and I appreciate it a lot. Ankh Charm, super powerful, incredibly, incredibly potent accessory, nullifies almost all debuffs, low E tier. Because if you are getting the Ankh Charm, how on earth would you not be able to get the Cobalt Shield and Obsidian Skull? Who on the actual planet has made this and not turned it into the Ankh Shield? Tell me, if you've done it, go ahead, go ahead and tell me, nobody ever has. Even if you have a dungeon with no Cobalt Shield, you have made another world and gotten a Cobalt Shield. Quit lying to me, you know you did it, okay? Speaking of the Ong Shield, yes, it's S tier. I don't think anyone can dispute that. Uh, if there's one accessory that, that comes to mind as the accessory you grind and you get a huge output for it, it's Ong Shield. You spend a bunch of time going to a bunch of biomes. In fact, that's another strength of this item is that Ong Shield is one of the very few items in the game that actually forces you to explore the game. Quite rarely do you have to actually do that for certain things in the game other than go to biome, perform task, leave biome for like another half of the game, right? Um, Anklet of the Wind is, a, is pretty nifty. I can't really think of the last time I actually used Anklet of the Wind as an accessory. It mostly just serves a purpose to obtain once you need lightning boots. I frankly find that most people don't use this as an accessory, they use it as a crafting material which is not what this list is about. So you are going to go here. Anti-gravity hook. I mean, look, okay, it serves a function. There is an archetype of people that will use this. I will give it the credit it deserves as being like actually a usable thing, but Jesus Christ, just dodge. Don't, why would you, who need, no. <laughs> there are better ways of achieving everything this hook can do. All right, one of the old ones army armors, Everyone who's watched these tier lists know that I don't know Old One's Army, and I never will know Old One's Army. And that's okay, because who needs Old One's Army? This armor gives you a whole garbage load of stuff, because the Old One's Army items are absolutely broken. Plus one max sentries, minus 10% mana usage, plus 30% increased minion damage, plus 10% increased magic damage, plus 20% increased magical critical strike chance, plus 20% increased movement speed. Set bonus. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the set bonus yet. It increases your number of max sentries, plus two total. Flamers, field of view, and range are dramatically increased. I mean, Jesus Christ. Just go up there and don't talk to me ever again. Okay. Apprentice's scarf. I confess that I also don't know what this does. So yeah, it gives you an, an additional century and increases your minion damage by 10%. That's pretty good. I don't think it's worth getting, but it's available to you and it does a decent job. It is effectively another summoner emblem, which is pretty crazy good. Um, this is the Architect Gizmo Pack. And as somebody who has never, ever, ever devoted their time to building in this game, I like, I don't know what these building accessories do. Um, it seems like the the thing to use as somebody who wants to build, theoretically, I don't know how to rate that because I, 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 there you go. You're there. B for builder. I don't know who builds. People build. I don't though. Uh, Arctic diving gear is an option for you to have. 
you need to be a very particular brand of Terraria player to want this over certain other options, I think. But it does serve a purpose that some people may want to fulfill, and it does have a lot of functions. So I'll put it in C tier, uh, similarly for the reason I put Amber uh, Horseshoe Balloon in there. But I will put it lower because I think it is slightly less relevant to the majority of players. One of the dev wings, this is Arcalis's Light Wings. They're a good option if you get them, because you kind of get them for free. If you don't already have good wings, they're a nice option to upgrade. Um, I do enjoy the options they give you for a set of vanity things. Beyond that, I don't feel super emotionally attached to them. As a result, I'm going to put them in like mid B tier. These are going to be fairly close. Armor bracing. Again, this is going to happen a lot when we talk about the Ankh Charm ingredients, because it's like, have you ever equipped this? Do we really process this as an accessory? No, we don't really process it as an accessory. We process it as a crafting material, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think I'll put it at low D, D tier instead of E tier, but like, I can't really, I don't know. Uh, armor polish is worse than armor bracing. And uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't think any of the long-term ingredients get much love. Avenger Emblem is an excellent accessory for the lazy Terrarian like me. If you don't get the right emblem, and you're a little bit too lazy to go out and get other good accessories, Avenger Emblem is just free become stronger, right? Like, you just throw the mech souls together, and then bingo, bango, you suddenly have an accessory that gives you 12% damage no matter what your class is, which is pretty anti what hard mode is about, but that's okay. I'm gonna put it at low A tier. I think that's where it belongs. Baby Grinch's Mischief Whistle. I really don't know who would use this. I'm sure there's someone who likes this, but I don't. It's not me, and it's not anybody I know. Balloon Pufferfish. I actually feel strongly positively about this item because the majority of people who do go fishing do so in the early game before you will reasonably be able to obtain the alternatives to this item, and you will likely not have many accessory slots filled up. I will say, of the early game fishing accessories that you can get, this is one of the lesser ones. So I think it doesn't belong too high up. I think it belongs in low C tier for that. Um, it's, it's probably the one you're quickest to replace. But having this available to you right at the start of the game when you go fishing is pretty awesome, actually. This is the Band of Regeneration. It is a good early game accessory. It is used for some other cool accessories, uh, which luckily does not mean it's not used ever. Unlike a lot of the things here, this is a material and an accessory at the same time. A, a lot of items I think are going to land in a similar similar position to this one in low C tier for me, in that when you get it, it is almost harmless to have, uh, because typically by the point you obtain this, you've not run out of accessory slots, so you don't need to play like which is better. Um, and free regen is kind of cool. So, uh, Band of Star Power, on the other hand, I just don't really use ever, personally? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just an additional mana star. I wouldn't know. I haven't used it in a really long time. Um, that's cool. But why would you? Right? Bat hook. Bat hook makes me unreasonably mad. <laughs> like, this... This hook... Let me, let me quickly, in case you are not aware. The bat hook. You can obtain this if I'm not mistaken, at any point in the game, okay? At any point in the game, it has 31 tiles of reach, a velocity of 15.5. For comparison, the Lunar Hook, which you get at the very end of the game, has 34 tiles of reach, 16 velocity. That is, that is stupendously, absurdly good. Why is this hook a pre Why can you do that? I don't understand. This hook should not be so good. It's insane. If you get this, equip it immediately. You don't need another hook for the... Getting this hook means you don't need a hook for the rest of the game. That's insane. Get out of here. Bat wings. Ah, uh, they... I mean, yes. I will say that of the wings that I never craft, this is the closest to a set of wings that I would craft because I believe you get it from Eclipse Enemies. Um, which means that there's actually a reasonable chance that I would get the requirement for this set of wings. That being said, 
there are alternatives that are much easier to come by and and will be better, right? You can just get frozen or leaf wings. So there you go. Beach ball, I don't care what you say. Why did I put this on the list? <laughs> Beach ball is very good. It is very good energy and we need more of it in Terraria. B armor. Is it, uh, it mm. you do need it for summoners. This armor doesn't wow me. But basically, it's it's like a necessity, but like uh, I'll just put it down here. I can't. There's too much conflicting in my brain about this armor set. This is the 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 B cloak. Why would you make this? What would motivate you? <laughs> I, I have all these options of what I can combine now that I'm in hard mode. Let me make B cloak. I mean, there you go. You can you can do that. But if you want to be a little, little master of bees, there's there's your option. Beetle armor. Beetle armor is like the defensive armor, right? High defense is your thing as a melee character, and and beetle armor is where you like really really hit that like thematically and and gameplay wise in my opinion solar armor obviously solar armor but beetle armor i feel like is is what comes to mind when i think big chonky defensive -y, hard to hitty kind of guy i think it is right around i'm gonna put it above old one's army because i have a vendetta there i said it that's how i feel beetle wings they got 2.67 and 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 81 that's good it's an option. How much do Frozen have again? 2.67 and 81. How much do Leaf Wings have again? 2.67 and 81. So what you're telling me is, is these wings that you can get after Golem are as good as wings that you can get at the start of hard mode? Wow, that's super cool. In case you forgot to get the other ones, you can get this one. End of story. Moving right on along, we have the other wings that start with B. B Wings, which has two, I mean, it's just, it's worse. I would just, I don't, know why you would want these the bell the bell is used to make beautiful not at all discordant music it is great you cannot tell me it is not great it is absolutely the top of s tier but knowing the public outcry i will place it right in here with beach ball where they will be happy together and uh we'll do something that most terraria players don't know about uh have fun Anyway, Betsy Wings, let's, all right, Betsy Wings. Uh, they have 2.5 flight time or two point, what do what the numbers actually mean on these stupid things? The, the problem is that like, you don't get as much speed as a lot of other wings. Like most of the wings around this tier give you more speed than, than Betsy's wings will, which in my opinion is actually a huge downfall of it. I think they're a missed opportunity. I don't think they're terrible. They do actually serve a function better than most of the other wings at their tier. Which I suppose, given where I placed bat wings, I, I really should move this down and then move this up a bit. I think that's fair. But yeah, no, th this is gonna be the, the, the downfall of wings on this list is, is you'll realize that most wings just don't matter. Beezer! Beezer is the only accessory, I think, from the Ankh Charm recipe that I have actually used and do still kind of use sometimes. It makes you immune to poison and you get it in the jungle. That's cool. I, I find that valuable sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So it can go in high C tier for that. Binaculars! The good old binaculars. Now, simple Terraria player. You may sit down and look at these binaculars and say they have no functional use. And to that I say nay. If you look up the rope scan, scan? The rope scan glitch, it makes the rope scan glitch twice as effective. In fact, I think a little bit more than that. So if you were to get this on a speed run, or if you are a dirty cheater like me, this is an incredibly useful tool. I find it like just an immense time saver in tandem with the rope scan glitch. And this is going to make a lot of people mad probably, but I'm going to put it up here in B tier for that reason alone. It saves you a ton of time on exploration if you are willing to use it to its greatest capacity, which is objectively not a fair way to rate it, but I'm doing it anyway. All right, I'm looking up what this one does because I forget what it does too. Uh, gives a chance to dodge attacks. Cool. That's what Black Belt does. It dodges sometimes. That's... I mean... 
let's be real. If you're getting this, you're getting it to make Master Ninja Gear. You're not getting it because you want to actually use Black Belt. So, yeah, I think it's even lower than the Ankh Charm stuff. I think it's even less relevant than they are. Yo-Yo Gamers, uh, I mean, I like. I feel like I have to put it in B tier because it it's it's like if you play Yo-Yo, you just use this immediately, right? Like no matter what you do as a Yo-Yo player, you use this. It don't do a ton of damage, really. I guess we could put it in C tier. I've re I've never really devoted myself to a Yo-Yo playthrough, so I've never used these accessories before. <laughs> and god dang, are there a lot of them? If you haven't seen the string items popping up on screen already, let me direct you to this guy, this guy, and this guy. Not to mention this guy. Anyway, speaking of which, black string. I hope you guys are ready to see a list of my favorite colors in order, because that's what the string items are going to be. It is good enough for Yo-Yo players. I'm just going to put it right there because I feel like it serves a similar purpose of being good enough for yo-yo players. Blessed Apple. Blessed Apple is an absolute killer of a mount. It is one of the like three or so mounts in the game that anybody ever uses and for good reason. I don't think it's S tier because at the end of the day it does get outclassed in mobility with some other mounts in my opinion. Um, however, Blessed Apple is extremely good. It's extremely fun. Every time I see it drop, I'm like, oh, spicy time. I'm a big fan of it. Riding a unicorn is ex excellent. No one can tell me otherwise. Moving right on along. Blindfold. Nice. Nice. Use it for the thing. Blizzard in a balloon. Uh, the balloon accessories are actually good, and I don't discourage you from getting them and using them. Um, I think this one... Personally, uh, fits a similar bill to Amber Horseshoe Balloon. Blizzard in a Balloon is something that I'm more likely to reasonably be willing to obtain. For this, the stars kind of need to align for me to ever get this, but it serves more of a function. So it kind of balances out in that regard. Um, that's why I kind of feel like these are in the same boat, just due to the fact that this is something that I will actually obtain more often and utilize more often, whereas this is obviously a much better accessory to have. Moving right along from that, we have the Blizzard in a Bottle, which I'm going to put in high B tier. It is a better version of Cloud in a Bottle, which puts it a little bit higher than Cloud in a Bottle. I don't personally find that the double jump should be like super duper A tier, but I'm kind of sitting here and thinking if I might want to rethink that. Because let's, let's consider what the double jumps do, because the double jumps are basically your precursor to getting the rocket boots, right? Once you get rocket boots, uh, I personally get rid of double jumps. It does the no i really can't like for me i feel like rocket boots are the a tier and then the double jump is b tier right that's that's how i feel but i think that that the, this is hard to really do because i feel like a lot of people might think otherwise and i don't think there's anything wrong with thinking that so i think as a middle ground i'm going to put this at the bottom of the a tier blue counterweight i like the color better than that one it's cool the blizzard horseshoe balloon I really don't know where to put the dang balloon items, man. I mean, if you get the horseshoe and the balloon, then this is great. But why? I, I don't ever do that. Maybe other people do that a lot. I don't know. I'll put it up here. I I could see people going for that. I just don't ever. Like, I've never had this accessory ever. I've never had this. I've never gone out of my way to get it. Blue string. It is a nicer color than the black string, in my opinion. Blue Wrench, it's used for wiring in the early game, though correct me if I'm wrong, but you can just immediately get the multicolor wrench, right? Like that's a thing you do. This is gonna go strictly into uh, E tier. Put it high up at E tier. Bone Key. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the, look guys, I'm cool, I play Terraria. Yeah, you, you kill Dungeon Guardian. Good job. I'm proud of you. I have news. Killing the Dungeon Guardian is not hard. You just have to have the stuff for it and have the patience for it. Which, if you do have the patience for it, congrats. That puts you above a decent amount of Terraria players. But at the same time, I think Bone Key's a little overrated. It's it's just a floating skull. And that is pretty cool, but it's it's not the best. I'm sorry. Uh, Bone Rattle. Yeah, no... Yeah, no, yeah, I really don't. Uh, 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 I, I think I'm good. Um, okay, bone wings. Let's let's get right on back to the uh, 
wing statistics, 2.33 flight time, 72 height, and 133% uh, speed. Sounds pretty good. Those are some numbers. What if Leaf Wings and Frozen Wings were both better than it? Well, that would be unfortunate now, wouldn't it? Uh, Boreal Wood Armor. I, uh, I mean, you could get this. But if you're going to go out of your way to get an early pre-hard mode armor, I feel like you just get Cactus Armor, like everyone else does. I feel like it serves more purpose than most of these, but not Aglet. So... Two thumbs up. Bottomless water bucket. It's a little bit depressing that there's a special item for having a bottomless water bucket when every water bucket in the game is already bottomless. Rain of confusion. Some people might say that this is a D tier item. I'm not quite as rational as those people and I'm putting this straight into F tier, but I respect their opinion. But also it's the brain of confusion. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, brain Scrambler, the item, not the enemy. Personally, I feel it serves a similar spot to the Ancient Horn, um, while also not being as sought after, in my opinion. I see a lot less people that are engaged by the idea of this item than are by the Ancient Horn. I personally am going to put this in high C tier, because it is usable and serves a decent purpose. But I also rarely find a purpose that this would serve better than other mounts. I don't really need a mount to deal my damage for me at this point in the game. At this point in the game, I can kill the stuff. It's fine. You can just be cute and pretty. Breathing Reed. Brick Lair. What, 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 what does this one do? It's probably the most important one, in my opinion. I think. Uh, that being said, I still don't really want to use it, ever. But if I get it, sometimes I might be somewhat motivated to use it. So there you go. Brown string. Great color. Good job. Bubble wand! It makes bubbles! Bubble! <laughs> Bug net. Bugnet is a requirement to go fishing. It is a necessary evil in this world. It's at the bottom of A tier because it enables one of, of the most fun parts of the game for me personally. That being said, if we're talking about how I feel about Bugnet as it is what it is, I'd put it like here because I really don't like the Bugnet very much. But because it is my only option besides the golden Bugnet, which you need to fish for anyway, I have to put it up there. I think fishing is a very fun part of the game. This unlocks it for me. That's why it's there. The bundle of balloons. I don't care about this accessory at all, personally, but I have a lot of respect for what it is because it is a quadruple jump. I want to put it like here because it's so much effort to get, but I, I do think that there is a reasonable demographic of people that do actually really like this item and do really want to get it. And so I'll put it like here. I don't want to put it in D tier. I feel like it's an insult to what it is. It's very unique. It's a quadruple jump. Like, that's stupid. Who did that? Butterfly wings. Oh boy. Oh boy. What do you do? Just tell me. Your 2.17 flight time, 67 height, 125% speed. Well, ain't that just downright nifty? Let me remind you that you are worse than leaf wings and frozen wings, and you are needlessly difficult to obtain. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Cactus. Armor. I feel like this is the set for people who uh, like to min-max even the earliest of early points in the game, and I respect that. I feel like uh, it is basically just a free, reasonably solid boost at the, at the start of the game. I don't think it's up there at B tier, but I think it is uh, at the peak of C tier for me. Because, I mean, it's basically just a free bonus that you can get if you feel the effort to do so. Candy Cane Hook. This is, this is the other part that baffles me. After what you heard earlier, you're probably looking at this and thinking, oh, hectic, tell me about how broken the candy cane hook is. It must be crazy, right? Well, okay, it is still pretty bonkers. It's got 25 uh, tile reach and 11.5 velocity. That's still like really good, but it's not as insane as the bat hook. 
and uh, therefore it's, I don't know. There you go. Merry Christmas. This is the carrot. The carrot gives you the bunny pet. But you need to have some conditions fulfilled to be able to get the bunny pet. And that means that what this really, what this item really is, is the inability to have a bunny. Do you know how bad it feels to not be able to have a bunny while other people do get to have a bunny? It feels pretty bad. Give me my bunny. I didn't do anything wrong. Celestial Cuffs, uh, what do these ones do? Increase pickup range for stars and restore mana when taking damage. Uh, that's good. Uh, I don't find it spectacular. I think this probably sits in low B tier. I think right around here. That being said, it, you kind of just need to get lucky to get them. If you do get lucky to get them, I think they're quite worthwhile, but you know, kind of a shrug. I don't know. Uh, Celestial Emblem. Celestial Emblem is pretty sick. I feel like it's just a slightly better Avenger Emblem. Um, I don't know why I said I feel like it is, because it is objectively a slightly better Avenger Emblem. And you can kind of just get it. You either get it or you don't get it. And at the end of the day, if you do get it, cool. You didn't have to put in, a, you didn't have to put in effort to get it. You just got it. So that's sick. Uh, now, speaking of those two accessories, Celestial Magnet is what you need to get to obtain those accessories. And Celestial Magnet is pretty cool. It is completely random whether or not you are able to obtain it. I don't think it is unreasonable to use it as a standalone item. I just personally don't see myself doing it very often. So it'll go right there. Celestial Shell. Celestial Shell is insane. If you are not aware, let me be the one to tell you that Celestial Shell is insane. It's an all stats increase at all times and you get transformations depending upon it being nighttime or being in the water and you're just incredibly strong when you use it and it is just insanely good. So if you're willing to go out of your way to get it, you absolutely should. It is one of, if not the best accessories in the game. It is incredibly powerful. Get this item. It is good. Uh, Celestial Stone is the Celestial Shell without the transformations, which is still pretty dang solid. That much solid. So there you go. Just have a bunch of stats up at all times for the rest of the game. Enjoy yourself. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. The Cell Phone. I'm going to put it up there, and there's a very particular reason for it. I know the gut reaction is, why are you putting cell phone at S tier when it takes so much time to get? The reasoning being this, there are there are people that will or will not get the cell phone, and the people that will get the cell phone are always going to go and get that dang cell phone, because it's the cell phone. I think it's just one of those items that 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 describes an archetype of a player, and and it's not that awful to get, except the fish stuff which you're either willing to do and you're not. That's it's one or the other. All right. Sanks is wet, wet, wicks? Sanks is wings are kind of pretty. They're nifty. But I don't, they're free. That's cool. There you go. Charm of myths. I don't necessarily think it's, it's of the best things that you can obtain at the point that you get it. I personally do find it very, very usable though. Um, I'm going to put it in high B tier. I, I think it's very useful. And if you are willing to put in the effort, you can actually swap this accessory on, use your potion, and then swap it off. And you will still have the reduced cooldown. Chlorophyte armor! I mean, who doesn't get chlorophyte armor? I Some people, actually. It's interesting. So chlorophyte armor is in a bit of a weird spot. I'm going to put this here while I talk about it. Uh, I find that chlorophyte armor is great because I can just go and get it and then it's done. However, there is an archetype of people that will go for Shroomite and Spectre and whatever and whatnot. And then you come into this problem because chlorophyte armor gets rid of all the chlorophyte that you need for those armor sets. And you cannot just upgrade chlorophyte armor. I personally love chlorophyte armor. However, it also immediately detracts from other armor sets being obtainable. And as a result, I really just have to put it in the middle of C tier. Uh, if it, for people who don't want to get the other armor sets, it's here. For people who do, it's down here. Otherwise it's here. Okay, it's the Christmas hook. What does it do? Let's let's figure it out. What What is the actual name? I called it the Christmas hook. What is the actual name? It, it's the Christmas hook. I'm so good at this game. It has 34.375 reach and 15.5 velocity. It is worse than the bat hook, but it is still a good hook. Uh, I will put it at low A tier. The Clentaminator, like just, I, I, Clentaminator does something that nothing else in the game is ever going to do for you anywhere near good enough 
to, to compete. It's the Clintaminator. Imagine the game without Clintaminator right now. Just think about it. Oh, that's awful. That's really rough. I don't want that. Get that out of my life. Climbing claws. Okay, it shouldn't be below the bunny thing, but it should be down here. I hate climbing claws. I personally find that climbing claws are way more disruptive than they are useful. They infuriate me. I don't like them. Clothe your voodoo doll. It's weird. This is basically in the game for people who want to be completionists and get all the trophies. And I think that that's fair. Uh, I personally don't fit into that category very much, but the Clothier Voodoo Doll does something that literally no other item in the game can do. Without it, you cannot fight Skeletron multiple times on one world. Except for making a new world, but Jesus Christ, I don't want to have to wait five minutes every single time. Uh, cloud and a balloon. I'm just gonna put this there. Well, no, okay, I'm doing that wrong. I should put the sandstorm. Balloons are weird, man. It's good. It's it's not as good as that one. Just get, just get your double jumps. Just remove balloons from the game. I don't know how to rate balloons. Cloud in a bottle. It's right there with Blizzard in a bottle. It is a worse version, but it is pretty iconic and it's super useful in the early game. And you know, it's good. It's good. Cobalt armor. You could make it. That's an option. You are allowed to make cobalt armor. Why would you do that though? Just get the other armors. Why are you making cobalt armor? Who made you the way you are? Stop doing that. Cobalt shield. Let's be real. Majority of people get this accessory because it is a very good accessory to have. A lot of people would consider it essential. I personally have played the game to the point that I I don't really use it anymore. But let's let's consider what the majority of people really think about. Most people are going to use the cobalt shield because it's good. But then again, there is the obsidian shield, so maybe that should be the one that actually goes there and cobalt shield should be like down here because I do use cobalt shield. You use it the moment you get it. You do do that, okay? Until you go home and you craft the obsidian shield, which we will get to later. This one is the coin ring, which I need to look up because I don't know the difference between all the rings off the top of my head. You pick up coins from further and hitting enemies will sometimes drop extra coins. Um, Cool, good for AFK. I think most players don't AFK, but it does serve a purpose that is useful. Companion cube. <sighs> I used to be like companion cube all the way every day, but the more I use companion cube, the more I'm like, why do I keep on spending a platinum on this? It, it does something. I, ah, I feel, it's, it's bone key 2.0. It's super overrated in my opinion. I'm gonna put it right up there with bone key, whatever. I, I'm gonna put it below it though. I'd go there, I'd go there. Okay. Compass. You might sit here and think compass, who cares, right? Fair. Compass lets you know what side of the world you're on though. That's useful for when you're fighting the wall of flesh. Sometimes I don't know what side I'm on, so I like having it. it. It gives me extra security. I don't know why I'm hovering over C tier. It's not C tier, but it's like right here with Aglet. Or Anklet of the Wind, rather. Copper armor. I mean, just don't, just don't. Why would you just get iron armor, dude? Who made you the way you are? Don't get copper armor, come on. Copper watch. I mean, come on, have some more class than that. Don't get copper, get a better watch. What are you doing? Come on. Cosmic car key. That's, this is the reason that I do the Martian invasion. Hot dang, you get to fly permanently. It's really good. It's like constantly used everywhere. If you're watching a content creator show you what all of the best accessories specific to expert mode are. Maybe, maybe you're doing that. Mm -mm. I love you, Isa Hooten. Your video is really well composed and I appreciate your uh, take on quality over quantity and I respect it thoroughly. But I am the quantity to his quality, okay? <laughs> I just wish he hadn't beaten me, that's all. I was so close to getting this list done and then he put out the video, which is totally fine. And I really like the video, I went and watched it, it's very well done. He goes underwater and then his, his voice gets muffled, that's cool. The counter curse mantra. It is used in the Ankh Shield recipe, and I don't really use it ever. I think this is the light pet, and if it is, it is absolutely A tier. It's the creeper egg. Yeah, it's the light pet, it's the light pet. It's 100% A tier, I love this. This is, this is, this is like actual A tier, not, not, I'll put it in A tier because other people like it. I love it. It's super cool. I wish it wasn't in the old ones army. I love it. Crimson armor. Crimson armor is solid. I think like B tier solid personally. I don't think it's like the best in the world or anything, but why would you avoid getting something like this? It's pretty much just exclusively going to help you without costing you too much time. The Crimson Heart, the item in particular. Don't, don't get that mixed up. It is a light pet. Here's the thing. 
We all use it, but it doesn't actually do anything. Like, it should do something, it just doesn't. I think it's, like, there. Amidst other items, they kind of just happen. Uh, cross necklace. Cross necklace is... Here, here's the thing. Here's the problem with with iframes in Terraria. We're just gonna put it there. That's not its rating. You, iframes in Terraria literally are only usable to cheese bosses exclusively. You cannot convince me otherwise. You do not take damage in Terraria fast enough for iframes to matter. And if you are taking damage that quickly, you really need something better than Cross Necklace to save you. Why? Like you can use it to cheese. And honestly, that's really good that you can use it to cheese because it can like just dumpster Plantera. But what is the point of iframes in Terraria? It's in C tier exclusively for its ability to cheese bosses, but like just don't use this. Just get something that will prevent you from taking damage in the first place. This is Crowdo's wings. They look kind of cool. I kind of like them. I'll go, they'll go there with the other dev wings. Cursed Sapling is uh, kind of one of my favorite light pets. It's up there. It's not the best. I'm gonna put it in low to A tier because I'm a big fan of it. Um, he zips around and makes little lights and turns your map into an artistic display of a bunch of circles. <laughs> Just overlapping each other. <laughs> Cyan String is nicer than all these other colors so far and they're officially off the screen. I hope you like scrolling. I don't. I'm gonna have to do it though. These are D-Town's wings. They look all right. They fit uh, an aesthetic that I think other people are a pretty big fan of. I don't really dig that aesthetic though, personally. Dark Artist Armor. Plus two max entries, plus 60% increased minion damage, plus 25% increased magic damage, plus 25% increased magical critical strike chance, increases your max number of sentries, plus three total, greatly enhances flame burst effectiveness. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Just Jesus Christ. Demon wings go right up here with angel wings. If you need the explanation, go listen to my explanation on angel wings. I don't like them as much as angel wings personally but there they are. Depth meter, I think is probably the one of the most useful of the subcategories of um, the like utility accessories that show you certain information. It's nice to know where certain cuts cutoffs in the uh, environment are vertically. Um, you can't really do that with a map unlike the compass, which you theoretically could. So I like having it on hand. Destroyer emblem is great for the lazy Terraria player. I think, uh, I forget if it's actually better or worse than Avenger emblem. Well, technically, the real ideal situation is to balance them equally. But crit chance is harder to come by, basically. So. Diamond Hook. I will put it here. If you do get it, it's super cool. You're not very likely to get it. Uh, Diamond Robe. I'm pretty sure that this is used for, like, the highest mana possible build, but I just, I've never seen people use robes. And I don't think I'm ever going to. And I think there's a reason for that. Dirt Rod. It is used to move dirt from one location to another. Nothing else in the game can do that. Discount card! I think it's like here? Saving money is all right to have. That's cool. Diving gear! Let's be real, if you're getting this, you're probably trying to get into the other diving-related items. Um, you could use that. It's an option. I don't see why you would. You're just gonna turn it into the other stuff. Diving helmet, on the other hand, I don't- I don't understand why you would use an armor slot to- to- I- I- no. No, I think that's a little too far now. We don't really need to breathe that badly. Dog whistle! It spawns a pupper! One whole unit of pupper! That is very good. I enjoy spawning puppers. I especially like it when they love me and follow me everywhere. Very good. Very cool. DPS meter. Uh, this is like the informational accessory that I think most people use um, above all others. Of all the informational accessories, this one is, is definitely the most useful. What is this item? It's the dragon egg. I mean, it's okay. I don't think it's that good. You know, like there. Drill containment unit. Holy moly. I mean, Jesus Christ, right? Let's be honest, right? Let's take a second and be honest. If we're considering the crafting recipe, the gut reaction is that it should be an A tier. But consider this. If you're going to continue playing post Moon Lord, what are you going to get? You're going to get the drill containment unit. 
I think that goes without saying. So for all post Moonlord players, it's basically an essential. Not just because it's useful, not just because it's it's super powerful, but because it's super unique too, right? Dual hook exists. Uh, I usually am willing to replace one of my early game hooks with it, but I also don't care too much about it by the time I get it. It's mostly just there to fill up something and make it slightly better than it was before, which is not bad, but I don't think it's that good if you catch my drift. This is Eater's Bone. I love him. I love him. Sit down, make your own tier list. You can put your favorite pet at S tier. I love him. I love him. I love him. Ebonwood armor. I mean, why would you ever do that? <laughs> you could. You absolutely could, but wow, are you taking a lot of unnecessary risks. Ebonwood armor is technically the best wood armor. Yes, but you also have to like go into the corruption and stand still for a while to get it. So why would you just get a different wood armor and move on? Uh, Emerald Hook is... I don't get it very often, and I'm... I mean, I feel like it's just a less... I don't know. You can't rate the stupid hooks. Or the balloons. Get them out of here! Emerald Robe. I mean, we've talked about it. I don't know why you would use a robe. Bucket. You can put it on your head. No other item can serve that purpose. You can put two on your head. No other item can serve that purpose. Eskimo armor. I mean, why would you ever use that? Extendo grip. I would use this less often than bricklayer, but I still think it's usable. I, I don't know. It, it increases your tile range. That's cool. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Eye of the Golem. Eye of the Golem. As somebody who has recently gotten a 100% crit strike build, I have a slightly greater affinity for this item than I used to. I think by itself, it's like low B tier. I think it's like here. It's just 10% crit strike. Bam, it's on there. You're good. Eye spring. One thing that I can say is this sprite is not a spring. It's not. It's not a spring. You forgot. You forgot to make it a spring. The magical bell is a weapon, but it also creates music. And it does it with more. It does it. It does that. Fairy wings. I feel like they go in the same spot as bat wings, slightly lower, because again, I could see myself getting them occasionally, but I just. There's just better options always. Forever. This item. This item. Fast clock! It's used in the, uh, in the Ankh charm. That's cool. I wouldn't ever use it myself, but yeah. Feral claws! I mean, you have the option to use feral claws, but does anybody? Like, I don't know if anyone does that. Does anyone do that? I don't do that personally, but it is an option. Best of wings. Something that is better than frozen wings and leaf wings. What an incredible time to be alive. I'm going to put it at high B tier and that's where it'll be. Fiberglass fishing pole. This is, this is very good. I'm a big fan. Very good fishing pole. I wish I got it more often, but it is so good to have if you want to fish in the early game. I put it in between the bottles by mistake. Needs to go there. <laughs> this is another set of wings. This is the fin wings. They have 1.67 flight time, 53 height, and a 0% speed bonus. Jesus Christ. All right, the fire gauntlet is one of the many melee gauntlets, and I don't remember what all of them do. It increases melee knockback and fix fire on damage, 10% increase melee speed, melee damage and speed. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. I respect it. If you are a melee player, this is a very good item. I think it's like low A tier. Wait, it has less buffs than the mechanical glove? Hold on a second. 12% increased damage. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no. What? Oh no. Oh no, that's such a bait! Holy moly! 
Like, Jesus, man. Why would you do that? No, Mech Hand gets crafted into this and it loses some of the stats for fire de- What? What? No. No. Don't ever do that. Debuffs are useless by the time you reach hard mode with the exception of very few and on fire is not one of them. Fisherman's Pocket Guide. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, e even as someone who is an avid fisher in this game, I don't ever really use these. The stats are like, I'm just going to fish. You can't really, it doesn't really matter when or where or how or what the stats are. I'm just gonna fish. So I don't, I don't know. It doesn't really matter very much to me. Um, this is the Fisher of Souls. It's nifty in that you can consistently get it, and it's definitely a solid upgrade. Uh, I don't think it's crazy good though, so it goes at the bottom of B tier. Uh, fish Finder for the same reason that I don't... I mean, I'll put Fish Finder in like low D tier instead of E tier, because if I'm able to have this around, then at that point I probably would. But at the same time, again, these, these do not really provide an essential resource to me, and I don't really use it to like determine if I'm gonna fish or not. So it kind of just exists. Okay, it's uh, it's the fish hook. It's the Ivy Whip with one less hook. So it's, I mean, why would, why would you? That's not very good. This is, this is a uh, fish underscore item, <laughs> which summons the baby penguin. People got mad at me for the penguin rating. And I still feel no sympathy. I don't really like how the penguins look in this game. They're very awkward to me. I don't know. I'm sorry. You can yell at me for it. That's okay. Fish Rana Wings. Wow, these are really good. These are really, really good. If you get them, they are absolutely super duper solid. I will say that the fact that you might have to fight Duke Fishron like 20 times to get them kind of pulls them down a bit. Flying Wings give you 2.67 flight time, 81 uh, height, and 150% speed boost which is the same as frozen wings um that being said it is much harder to get these if i recall <laughs> if you get them they're good and they'll last for a long time but there are better wings to get you could get a better wing and you you can do flare gun flare gun it lets you it lets you light up places with flares <laughs> and you can use it to get unlimited bait and that's pretty cool and i like getting unlimited bait for fishing and i uh, put it in high c tier because of that Flash Catcher. It's the same thing as this one, but I think it looks kind of cool. Or there it is. Yeah, yeah. Flash Knuckles. It gives you defense. Flippers. You can swim with the flippers. Put it like there. Flower boots. Unlimited bait. And it's higher than Flare Gun, because Flare Gun just trivializes the process. Flower Boots makes it possible. Flurry Boots. Here's the thing, right? Like, you can get all the way up to Frost Spark Boots in pre-hard mode. So it's awkward to rate boots, because you can always upgrade them. We'll put them at somewhat low B tier. Flying Carpet is actually really good. Um, I think it's low A tier, just because of how good it is. Uh, the thing about Flying Carpet is it's not hard to get it's just that you might not get it uh, and i think there's an important distinction to make between that forbidden armor is so fun i love forbidden armor and i wish they would make more stuff like this like the way forbidden armor functions and looks and feels is so spectacular that even disregarding the fact that it is uh, as far as i understand an actually solid armor set it is it is something that i think terraria should strive for more in that these armor sets will be like more interesting and have like active functions as well. I just really like Forbidden Armor. I like what it stands for. I think it should exist in more forms in Terraria. Fossil Armor, on the other hand, is a dying breed, quite literally. If you decide that you would like to do throwing for your pre-hard mode section of your game, then you could get Fossil Armor. Um, I don't, I'll put it at the top of D tier. Frog Leg. Frog Leg is actually really good. One of your most vital moments is when you are resetting your wings, right? In hard mode. So if you want to make that less bad, you get frog leg because frog leg makes you jump up and reach your max vertical speed way faster. So frog leg is incredibly good for that reason. And you also don't need to get a bunch of balloon stuff for it to work out. 
Um, and I think it's also a little bit better than balloons, but don't quote me on that. Frog leg is very good. I'm a big fan of frog leg. I'm going to put it like there. Frost armor is also pretty cool. It's a hybrid armor set. Uh, I believe it's magic and ranged, but you have to fight Ice Golem to get it. This is the worst enemy in Terraria by a landslide, which is not very cool. I don't like that. I would like if it was not that way. I'm going to keep it in B tier because I want more hybrid armors in the game for it hurts me that you have to fight ice golems to get this armor. Frostbark boots. It is essential for every single character in the game to get Frostbark boots. We all do it. We always do all do it. Pretty much every playthrough we do, we get Frostbark boots. Some people settle for lightning boots. Most of us don't. Frostbark is really good. Get Frostbark. It's good. Why would you ever not get Frostbark? Frozen Turtle Shell. I forget what this does. Grants the player 25% damage reduction while their health remains below 50%. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's low C tier. I think it has its use. I think if you use it, you're not going to be in a super bad situation, but I also don't really see myself using it very often. <sighs> there. They're the best swings in the game. I... <sighs> you start hard mode, you go and kill the stupid worst enemy in the game, and then you get these wings. Hectic, how could those be the best wings in the game? What are you talking about? Frozen wings have a flight time of 2.67, a flight height of 81, and a flight speed of 150%. Um, if you would like me to evidence how good that is, that's as good as Spectre Wings. That's that's as good as Beetle Wings. I can't, like, you... Once you get this, you're good. You don't have to replace these until you're doing the Frost and Pumpkin moves, if you even bother with them. They're just insanely good. I hate them. They're from the worst enemy in the game, and I hate them, but they're really good. Fuzzy Carrot! Uh, it spawns a bunny mount. It's kind of... I, I gotta be honest, I think the bunny's kind of weird looking. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of it. It can go there. Gato Egg, on the other hand. Yes. Yes. Gato Egg is very good. Very good. The key gives you 5% increased damage and critical strike chance, and 10% increased melee and movement speed. Like, I, I mean, you're just relying a lot on... It's, if you get it, it's cool. That's it, though. Gladiator armor. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I think you're gonna not ever use that. I don't think anyone has ever used gladiator armor. If you have, I'm proud of you. Goblin tech. Similar to the DPS meter, is one of the few informational items that I think is very purposeful and very... Uh, meaningful to use. It is the closest that you get to the cell phone and utility of all of the options that are available to you, personally, in my opinion. Goggles give you one defense and are made from two lenses. You have the option to do that. Gold armor. Jesus Christ, it takes so... Like, you have to get 75 gold? Like... I just don't know why you would do that. You could get to hard mode by the time you got all that gold. Seriously. Just fit- Terraria, please I'm begging you, why are these so expensive? They should not be so expensive. Just move on. Like, don't bother with this. The Golden Bug Net is awesome because it makes uh, getting uh, truffle worms far easier than they would otherwise be. And that's pretty cool. But like, that's, I mean, that's about it. That's really the only advantages it has, in my opinion. The auto swing's cool, but like, you know. I don't know. And it's needless to whatever. It's it's a gold mic nut. <laughs> the golden fishing rod. The one and only ultimate best fishing rod in the game. It's I Look, for the people who care, it's an S tier item. Okay? For the people who are going to use go fishing, this is S tier. 
gold ring, you're not using this. You're turning it into other things. You're not actually using this accessory. There you go. Gold watch, on the other hand, you will actually use to combine into the other stuff. I don't ever personally actually use it, but you, you could if you crafted it super early. I usually don't, though. The GPS! Like, I'd put it at, at, at like, high C tier. If the information to it was more essential, it'd be higher on the list to me. Like, with Goblin Tech, I find the information on this one to be the most essential to my playthroughs. This is just nice to have. The hook! I don't ever make this, basically. You could, and if you do, you can use it. But it's almost always, in my opinion, easier to get gems. Gravity Globe! Some people might rate this D tier. <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, all right, ReLogic team. Heads up, turn your brains on. We need to make an expert mode accessory for killing Moon Lord, the greatest feat. We need to reward the player with something absolutely spectacular for defeating the Moon Lord. What do we think? How about worse gravity potion? That is less functional than the normal one. That's it. Ship it. Perfect. Whoever that guy is, give him a raise. Make him the head of the company. He he gets it. Thanks, I try really hard. Great earring. Increases coin pickup range and traps at lower prices. Hitting enemies will sometimes drop extra coins. This is pretty dang good, honestly. And it gives you discounts. I would actually hold this on me at all times if I had it. Uh, it's just very difficult to get. Green counterweight. It's like the other counterweights, but it's green. I don't like it. Green string. Uh, yeah, I don't really like this color. It's better than the brown string, but not by much. Uh, this is definitely worse than the blue wrench. Moving right along. Guide to plant fiber cordage. Guide to plant fiber cord just makes me happy that it exists because it's really funny, but like, oh my god. Why do you, why would you need that? Guide voodoo doll. Now, like, when I got this, this accessory, like, I, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was a pretty good accessory. But I noticed that everybody likes throwing it into lava and destroying it. I don't really understand. I thought it was pretty good to be able to deal damage to the guide in case he's kind of cluttering up your houses. But everyone just throws it into lava. So I guess it's not a very good accessory. I don't know. Like people don't even throw breathing reeds into lava, man. It's gotta be pretty bad if literally everyone throws it into lava. That's rough. The gypsy robe, for those who do not know, uh, gives you plus 6% magic damage and critical strike chance. And it gives you minus 10% mana cost, which is honestly really solid. It's sold by the traveling merchant. If you get it, it's pretty good. But when are you gonna get it? I feel like it's just right there with the gi, but I think it's also slightly better. Hollowed armor. If you really want an armor that is mediocre to improve your build, just get chlorophyte. Don't bother with this. <laughs> Do not bother. Hand warmer exists. I forget what it does though. Rise me to chill and frozen debuffs. It's kind of all right to get if you're doing like the frost moon. Like I give it a solid high C tier for that. Besides that, it's not exactly useful. Party Saddle, I like what it aims to achieve, but it is not very useful. I love him, but he is not great at his job. The harp is good for making music. And you are jealous, because music is good and cool. Harpy Wings, 2.33 flight speed, 72 height, and 133% speed boost. Oh my god, I just saw that Bat Wings give you no speed bonus. Oh my god, get out of my, oh no. Floats, please put an asterisk next to my rating from before, including how bad I misjudged this because, oh God, I forgot. Anyway, Harpy Wings are the same as Bat Wings, but they give you actual speed bonus. So I forgot where I put them, but I think it was here. There they go. Hercules Beetle gives you an extra summoning slot, I think, which is pretty all right. I, you really just get this once you get the other things so that you can combine them into a much better accessory that will then be able to fill a slot reasonably. Hermes boots. Look, it should be right here, but it's it's like an iconic item. I think this is the item people think about when they think of a Terraria accessory, with maybe like Cloud in a Bottle or something. So I'm gonna put it right up here because people, it's Hermes boots, you know. 
High test fishing line. Jesus Christ. Just put it right there. The only reason tackle bag is good is because it has this in it. It's so good. It's so essential for fishing. In fact, it's so essential. I, mm, ooh, I'm biased. I love it. I love being biased. Some people, some people would say that the hive pack is a C tier item. And I agree, Hive Pack is pretty C tier. Like Issa Hooten mentioned, it's pretty great at modifying your B items and at the point in the game that you're at, that's super duper useful, but it immediately falls off because you don't really need to pass that point. What are we doing now? Honey Balloon. I don't really know why you, I, don't, I just don't know, man. How do you, how do you rate balloons? How do you do it? I guess you could go there. Sure. Honeycomb. I think we can all agree that we don't equip this. Ever. Honeyed goggles. I see people, I don't, I can't, dude. This, like, people are like, oh, it gives you this huge flight in free hard mode. But it's like the most janky, annoying flight possible. The flight doesn't feel good. I just, I, I, I am biased against this mount. You can yell at me for it. I don't like it. I don't think it's very good. Hotline fishing hook. It's pretty good. You can fish in lava. That's pretty good. Why not? Hoverboard is weird. And I like that. I like that hoverboard is weird and I'm going to buff it for being weird because I think having unique wing effects is a woefully underutilized concept. Um, <laughs> this is the Huntress armor. Plus one max sentries, plus 30% increased minion damage, plus 20% increased range damage, plus 10% increased range critical strike chance, plus 20% increased movement speed, set bonus increases your max number of sentries, plus two total explosive traps, recharge, and oil enemies, set oiled enemies on fire for extra damage. There you go. Have fun. Thank you, Old Ones Army. This is the Huntress's Buckler. It's the same as the other one that we had earlier, which we didn't have earlier because we haven't done it yet. Um, no, wait, we totally did. Where is it? Where'd I put it? I don't, did I rate one of these yet? I could swear I did. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this. Oh, thank God. I like scarves a little bit more. I'm actually a huge sucker for scarves. Uh, someday I'm gonna wear them as often as I can. It's not today, but someday. The ice mirror. I mean, it's pretty dang good. It's pretty dang good. Ice rod is also pretty dang good. Ice Rod lets you build from any point on the ground instead of having to build up a giant tower from somewhere and I am a fan of that and it is very helpful, thank you. Ice Skates. You use them to make Frost Spark Boots and occasionally use them when you get them. In fact, you know what, if you occasionally use them when you get them, they should go there. Illuminate Hook. <laughs> Uh, I use Illuminate Hook fairly often. It's a pretty solid upgrade that you can get from Hollowed Mimics when you're also farming for the Daedalus Stormbow. Next question. Iron Armor is probably the most acceptable armor that doesn't do like anything. Um, I'm gonna put it right up here with Cactus Armor because I feel like more people use Iron Armor than use Cactus Armor and they're both pretty, ser they serve very similar causes at different levels. Uh, this is the Ivy Whip, I believe if you're willing to go out of your way to get it and it is not currently Halloween, then it is a very, very good option for you. Um, I personally am not really willing to go out of my way to get it very often, but it's not that hard to get actually. The jellyfish diving gear. I'm going to put it right here with the other diving gear because I think it's worse. Because I, I mean, you could get it. I just don't see the purpose for it. Jellyfish necklace is the same thing. I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really need to breathe. Jetpack is okay, because you can just get it, but like you should have other wings that are better than this by the point that you get this. I'm sorry, it is better than bat wings though. Jim's wings are like the other dev wings, and I don't know, I kind of like them. I'll put them, I'll put them there. Like, I like your wings, Jim. Uh, this is a jungle armor, I think. I think it's a solid option for your early game mana. Like, I think even high B tier solid, personally. Lava Charm is cool, but like, it's not that important. Just get an Obsidian Skin Potion. The odds of you getting Lava Waiters on a playthrough are like, you need to explore your entire dang world to have a shot at getting Lava Waiters, which by the way, 
puts them at like the bottom of each tier. This is Lazarus Barrier Platform. I like it. That's it's fun. I respect it. <laughs> Lead armor. It's like iron armor, but I like it better. Leaf wings. They're like here. I mean, you just buy them. I think this is the wings that people use the most often once they realize they exist. You just snag them, you're done. Congrats, you have wings. Uh, I don't know how to say this guy's name. Lane Force? It's either Lane Force or Lane Force. Uh, th those could both be wrong. It's cool. There's a lot of purple dev wings, I've noticed. Light Form Analyzer is nifty. I think it's, again, one of the more actually uh, essential informational accessories, like around B tier level. I don't think it's up there with like DPS speeder, but it is very helpful. Lightning boots. Lightning boots are very good and very useful, and they will go a little bit above Hermes boots because their usefulness outweighs the iconicness of Hermes boots. There you go. They are very good. You should get them. Uh, this is Lime String, which is a little too bright. Like, eh, I, I like this green more, even though I don't like it very much. Lizard Egg. It's not my favorite pet. I think some people like it. I'll put it like here. I don't really want a lizard as a pet very much, to be honest. Loki's wings are kind of nifty. There's not enough light wings. There's there's a lot of dark style wings. Lucky coin. It's good, but it's kind of hard to get and you kind of just turn it into other things. But I think this is the closest to being used out of the other things that get turned into other things. Um, I think it's like there. It's a little bit worse than that, because that's better than that. Anyway, Horseshoe. This one is awkward for me, because when I first played the game, I could not get this accessory soon enough. But now that I've played the game more, I actually don't care about this accessory at all. Which to me puts it at C tier. <laughs> that's really that's really what it boils down to. This is for lazy people. You can just get caught in a bottle and hit spacebar. Uh, Lunar Hook. It's actually only marginally better than Bat Hook, which is just bafflingly bad. This game is so dumb. Ugh. It's your best hook. This is the best hook in the game. We pretty much all get Lunar Hook because it is the best hook. Magical Pumpkin Seed. I I don't remember I don't remember anyone really talking about this pet, and I don't really even remember what it does. I'm not a huge fan of it, obviously. If I don't really remember what it is. I'm sure somebody loves this and will hate me for doing that. I'm sorry. Uh, mana Cuffs. Taking damage to restore mana is kind of iffy to me. I don't really think that fondly of it. Magic Hat. What is what is the exact bonus you get from Magic Hat again? You get plus 7% magic damage and crit strike chance and 60 mana if you have a robe. In tandem with robes, you got something pretty spicy going on. But even then, I'm not sure. I mean, let's put this at the bottom of D tier, just because it has that interesting setup. Uh, Magic Lantern is very nice. It is the, in my opinion, best light pet you can have until Suspicious Leaking Tentacle. Um, I'm going to put it there. It's good. Magic Mirror. It's like this one, but worse. Bite me over it. Magic Quiver. It is really hard to get, but when you do get it, it's so good that it deserves to still be in B tier in my opinion. Magma Stone is like very small free DPS sometimes. I don't know, maybe I'm giving it too much credit. I think the way I just saw my chat respond, it's more like here. Magma Stone. Mana Flower. I know a lot of people don't use Mana Flower, but I think even the people who don't use Mana Flower have to understand how good Mana Flower is. Things like Last Prism don't work without Mana Flower. I, I don't think I don't think it should be anything other than S tier. It's like a defining item. Mana regeneration band. I would rather have the charm of myths. It's certainly good, but I don't My gut is like here, but maybe I'm overselling how much I dislike it. Yeah, yeah there. Yeah, I think it goes there. Uh Master Ninja Gear. I personally rarely bother. Cause I usually just use the Shield of Cthulhu. But I should give it the credit it deserves because it like if if you're willing to get it, it's it's definitely A tier. Mechanical cart. It's the best cart that you'll get, and there's no reason to not use it. Yeah, I don't know. I'll put it like there. Might as well. Mechanical glove is what fire gauntlet should be. Like why well, I don't understand, man. 
Mechanical glove is good. It's a good accessory for melee builds. I'm a fan of it. Yeah. Uh, mechanical lens. Uh, it displays wire. You can do that with anything. What? Why would you need that? What? Why would you need that? What? And then there's this, which displays a block grid on your screen. Like, you could do that with a setting in your inter... I don't... I don't see the point of these. I mean, you can put them in the grand design and then enable them if you need it, but like... If a, if a setting and a bunch of other regular items can do that... Why, why bother? Um, this is the mechanics rod. I've actually never used this in my life. I guess I'll put it like here, because I think it's better than those two, but like... Eh? Medicated bandage. Like, it's better than the Beezer, but I don't ever equip this. Like, I don't- I, I've never equipped this accessory ever in playing Terraria. I have just turned it into the Yonk Shield. Megaphone. Same boat. Metal Detector is probably the most useful accessory by itself. Meteor Armor is insane. It's absolutely insane. Just Jesus Christ. You get this pre-boss, and then you can just use it for like the rest of free hard mode. The standard minecart. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, you have that. And then the upgrade minecart, which I don't think anyone ever crafts. <laughs> Mining armor, okay. Can we talk about this set? Each of these gives you one defense, but the set bonus gives you 30% mining speed. Wow. That's cool. Too bad you'll never have it. Molten armor. I think if I'm being honest with myself, it should go like here. Like high B tier. It's good. I just think it's dumb and annoying. Anyway, moving right along to the monk armor. Plus one max sentries, plus 30% increased minion damage, plus 20% increased melee damage, plus 20% increased melee attack speed, plus 10% increased melee critical strike chance, plus 20% increased movement speed. Set bonus increases your max number of sentries, plus two total. Lightning Aura can now crit and strikes faster. There you go. Monk spell. It's another one of the things over here. I have belts are lame. I never wear belts. Moon charm turns you into a werewolf at night. We use it to make celestial shell, and that's pretty cool. Moon shell is, I mean, okay. I think this one is enough that you could actually reasonably use it. I find that I rarely ever do use this accessory. I don't find the transformations that particularly uh, important, but it it is usable and it's not insanely hard to get. Moonstone. Falls into a similar boat, actually, in that if I get it, I could see myself using it. I just wouldn't very often. More often than not, I would just throw it into the stuff for the Celestial Charm, or the Celestial Shell, and then just make that and be happy. Mothron Wings! <laughs> okay, your Leaf Wings with no speed bonus. Why, why would you ever, why would you ever? I just don't understand it. The Multicolor Wrench. Um, I think that fits into E tier because people use wrenches. The Mithril Armor exists. This set bonus doesn't do anything. It's just extra stats. So again, why would you make this? You could just make the next set. You're done. Nature's Gift. I guess if you haven't found a Glowing Mushroom Biome yet or haven't managed to get a Mana Potion, you could use this. But just make Mana Flower. It's better. Uh, Nazar exists. You can use it to make the Ankh Charm. Nebula Armor is very good. That might come as a surprise to you, but it is very good. Speaking of post -moon Lord stuff, there's the Nebula Mantle. It's, it's, yeah, it's Hoverboard. So like, it can go up here with Hoverboard, a little bit higher, because it, it's also better. Necro Armor exists and I've never made it. And I don't know what it does off the top of my head. 15 range damage, 20% chance to not consume ammo. That's uh, that's not bad. 
I personally don't like it very much because farming bones is kind of annoying, but it's kind of similar to the jungle armor in that you get this option very hard mode, which is not very... Eh. Anyway, it's nice. Necromantic scroll. I forget if this is the final one or if this is an upgrade. I think it's uh, the... Yeah, okay, there's an upgrade to it. I can see myself using this on a summoner playthrough if I uh, don't already have Hercules Beetle, but I would also probably... Just put it together with Hercules Beetle to make Papyrus Scarab. I'll put it there. Nectar summons a pet bee. That's, it's, it's solid. It's solid. It's not my favorite, but it's solid. I would take it. Neptune's Shell. I personally would not use on its own ever, but it is there and available to you if you would like to use it and be underwater for a bit. Night Vision Helmet. I don't see, I, people like this thing. I don't see the appeal. I mean, other people like it, so I'll put it in D tier, but I personally find it to be just kind of dumb. <laughs> Ninja armor exists. In vanilla, you'll always have an armor that you'll probably want instead of this by that point. So I think it's like low C tier given that information. Yeah, and, and if we're talking modded, this is like high B tier because it's just a, a, a free armor. But like, you know, in fact, this should probably go lower. Like here. Like you could use it, but eh. Obsidian armor's weird, man. Like, it's just defense. I don't know why you did that, Terraria, but you did. I think it's better than Gladiator, but not by much. Uh, Obsidian horseshoe. I mean, if you are using a horseshoe, this is basically a free upgrade for it. There you go. Obsidian rose. Are you planning to touch lava a lot? Is that something that's on your to-do list? Because if it is, this accessory is great for you. But personally, I find that I don't really invest in touching lava very often. Obsidian Shield. It is like here. I personally don't really use the Cobalt Shield line much anymore, but it is too many people an essential item that is pretty much always an always take. Obsidian Skull. I This is a crafting material. You can try and tell me that this is an accessory. It's a crafting material. Obsidian, water walking boots. I can't rate this very highly because the odds that you're gonna get this are so needlessly low for the purpose that it serves, which is to walk on water. Orange string, ugh, Jesus. No thank you. Or a calcum armor. When you take damage, flower petals fall on your opponent. I like that, I think that's fun. I don't think it's very useful, and I think you might as well just get adamantite armor. Um, but I do enjoy what that provides, what what that does. I think it's cool. Um, not much beyond that, though. In fact, I'm putting this next to ninja armor, which is not fair. It should go there. There you go. So you got the paint sprayer. I don't ever bother painting, so I don't know. Right there. Paladin shield, if I remember correctly, is interesting. It is. It absorbs damage done to allies on the same team if you have enough health. And I like the idea of introducing more multiplayer synergistic items. So for that reason, I'm going to put it up here. I, I want more things like this. This is very nifty. Palladium armor, as weird as it's going to sound, to my understanding, is actually kind of solid. If you wanted to make palladium armor and kill the mechs, you could probably pull it off. So for that reason... I'm going to put it uh, in B tier, lower than Adamantite, because it is an option to get past that barrier. And that's really all you need, is an option to get through that. Earlwood armor. Cool. Panic necklace is interesting, but... Uh... Wait, no, that isn't pearl wood. That's palm wood. I did this on the weapons list too. Oh. Pearl wood sword. Wait, these are palm wood. <gasps> I've been baited. I don't want to talk about it. You could make it, but why would you go to the ocean to get wood armor? <laughs> why would you do that? Panic necklace for real this time. Uh, it has its uses. I find its uses to be uh, beyond lackluster and not very helpful. There you go. Papyrus Scarab, I think, is a solid option for summoners when you get to that point in the game. Papyrus Scarab gives you two minion slots and a buff, and that is really good if you are playing summoner. It's a solid pick. Um, in fact, I'm going to put it, like, there. 
Parrot cracker. Would you like a parrot? Polly wants a cracker. Parrot. The PDA. <laughs> so, I want Relogic to release statistics of how long items have remained in a player's inventory. Because PDA has got to be up there as the least amount of time being spent in a player's inventory. How on earth would anyone ever get the PDA and then not immediately turn it into the cell phone? <laughs> in what universe will that ever happen? This is not, this is not equipment. This is just a crafting material. I shouldn't even put this on this list. It doesn't even count. All right, <laughs> pearl and armor. <laughs> Okay, Philosopher's Stone. Solid pick. It, in my opinion, serves the same purpose as this. Uh, if you want to be really, really clever about it, you can actually use this accessory without using it in that you equip it, use your potion, and then unequip it. If you're using it to its fullest potential, it could be super solid. I don't always think it's worth the accessory slot, though. Like, permanently. <laughs> Pink Eskimo armor. It also gives you defense. Um, I actually don't like this shade of pink very much. It's, it's too poppy you know pink horseshoe balloon it's got a little sharky nose on it <laughs> look at the little sharky nose <laughs> i love him a lot pink string uh it's good i think it's a little too pop out again i'll put it there retinum armor again please i'm begging you relogic this is my cry for help why is this so expensive? It should not take 8,000 bars to make a free hardwood armor set. Please stop. <laughs> Platinum watch. Uh, it's like a gold watch, but I like it better. Uh, this is the pocket mirror, which makes you immune to stone and doesn't combine into anything. Like this could be cool if you added it to the onk shield, but you didn't. So no one's gonna use this. Portable cement mixer, which probably does something. It increases wall placement speed. Honestly, that's kind of useful. I'm gonna put it above those two. Eh, it's not more useful than that one. Portal gun is cool. You can un, you have uncapped, well, your cap is higher when you're using portal gun. It's nifty. I enjoy the way that you can mess around with it. I don't think it's that good though. Like it's kind of, I, I like it, it's fun, but that's about it. This is the power glove. It increases melee knockback and gives you 12% increased melee speed. I don't think it really matters that much. I'll put it like here. You could use it. I don't think I would. This is the Pressurator. Yeah, automatically places actuators on placed objects. Uh, I, I don't know how useful this is. I assume it fits in with the rest of these and that it's kind of useful, but I'm gonna put it there. Pumpkin armor. In case you loved wearing pumpkins so much that you slathered it all over your body as a means of defense. The set bonus is plus 10% damage, just classless, which is kind of hilarious. So if you wanted to, if you managed to get this early, go for it. But when are you ever? <laughs> Somebody put a pumpkin on their head and was like, this is so good, I can't, I need it elsewhere. Uh. Purple counterweight. <laughs> Pretty good. Purple string. It is similarly pretty good, but not crazy good. Putrid scent. It's not amazing, but if you get it, like that's a solid, I could use that for stuff and things. I think it's good. Like if I got it, I might use it. I don't know, maybe I put it too high. Fine, Future Scent down there, bam. Pygmy Necklace, it's solid. I think it's kind of annoying to get, but it's solid. Radar, uh, it exists. I don't really need to know how many enemies there are around, but I guess it's nice. What are they with Fish Finder? The raincoat set. If you wear this, you suck. You, I'm sorry, but you are lame. Rainbow string. It's so powerful. No, it's, I mean, I like it. It's cute. I'll take it. I don't know. <laughs> Ranged emblem. Sick. 15% damage for free. Awesome. Red counterweight. Uh, I like the shade of red, actually. This is a uh, red riding armor. Plus two max sentries, plus 60% increased minion damage, plus 25% increased range damage, plus 10% increased range critical strike chance, plus 20% increased movement speed set bonus increases your max number of sentries, plus three total greatly enhances explosive traps effectiveness. Red string. 
I like it. Good shade of red. Uh, red's wings. Uh, I'm honestly not a huge fan of them. They're not bad though. Red wrench. It's the wrench. Change my mind. Reindeer bells. I've never, I don't, why would you? Yeah, I don't know. I've never used this. Do people use this? I think, I think it's like here. I don't know, just see. Reinforced fishing pole. It's nice to have. I like improving my fishing. I-ish C tier. There you go. Bingo bongo. Uh, this is the Wreck 9000 or whatever. The R-E-K. I don't know. Like, I think it goes up here. I think it's better than GPS. Rich mahogany armor. Because everyone goes to the jungle as... as If you're going to the jungle for armor, you're not getting rich mahogany. Don't, don't even try and kid yourself. You could, but why would you? The rifle scope. Yeah, it's it's just the zoom effect. And why would you do that when you could also add buffs to it? I don't think anyone ever uses this standalone. Like you could, I just don't think most people do. Rocket boots are solid, but you almost always combine them into speed boots, like immediately after. So I think it's more like a low C tier item. It's the best item in the game. It's it's just the best item in, like, okay, take all the tier lists, man. Take them all and put them together. The accessory, equipment, whatever tier list, the weapons list, and the enemy tier list. Put them all together. Rod of Discord is at the very top of it all. And it's there with considerable leeway. It is insanely good. And it has a 1 in 200 drop chance, I think, if I recall correctly. And that can't even pull down how insanely good it is. You can use it to dodge an entire half screen away. And if you're bad enough at the game that then the Moon Lord Death Ray is going to hit you anyway, you can teleport away again for less damage. Anyway. Some people would say, oh, fudge, I forgot to say that for the mechanical cart. Some people would have said this was B tier, which is fair. I just put it in A tier. Some people would say the Royal Gel, on the other hand, is C tier. And I agree, yeah, you, you killed it. It should be C tier. A ruby hook. That's pretty nifty. I'll put it there with Emerald Hook because I don't know how to rate those dang gem hooks. Ruby Robe can go there. Because I still don't know how to rate the robes either. They're just there because I've never seen anyone use them. What does the ruler do? Doesn't it just tell you num number thing, thing, whatever? Displays a line or L-shaped overlay showing X and Y distance from the player to the mouse. I don't care. Sailfish boots. You fish them up from the water. But who wants your feet to be wet? I don't want my feet to be wet. No way, no how. Is this, could it be a blizzard in a balloon? No, it's a sand, why did I say blizzard? I'm up the big dump. All right, let's put it with, I'm going to put it lower because it's really unlikely to, no, I'm not. I don't know how to rate these stupid things. Aria makes my job really hard, dude. Just go there. Sapphire hook. I like it. It's pretty cool. Can go there. Thank you. Have a nice day. Sapphire robe. It's cool. It's pretty. It's a nice shade of blue. I like it. This is the scaly truffle. Oh, it's the pig rod mount. God, I would never use this, but it sure does exist. It's right there with Shrimpy, or the Hardy Saddle. Seaweed gets you a pet turtle. Gets you a pet turtle. You can have a turtle all over yourself. I like it. I like having a little pet turtle. He can't move. <laughs> He's bad at that. Sapling, you can have a pet twee. <laughs> That's trendy right now. Team trees. Haha. <laughs> Sextant. It displays the face of the moon, and people under the age of nine will laugh when you say it out loud. Here's a shackle. They give you one defense. They are right there with Aglet. You put them on, you're like, yes, I am slightly stronger than I was moments ago. And then you eventually take them off when anything else needs to take its slot. Uh, this is Shadewood Armor, which in the same vein as Edward Arm- Edward? <laughs> In the same vein as Evanwood armor. Like, why would you get this? You're needlessly putting risk to yourself. I like the color more though. Shadow armor. Shadow armor is pretty solid. I feel like it and crimson armor are 
One of the like closest equalizers between Crimson and Corruption. Like I feel very equally positive about both instead of liking one and hating the other. I think Crimson Armor is better though, personally. Shadow Orb, it's better than than the uh, butt at showing light, but like still really does not do its job very well. Shark Run Balloon, they put a little nose on the balloon. <laughs> I like it when they put the nose on the balloon. It makes me happy. I wish they would do it more often. I don't know, probably right there. Oh wait, is this a double jump balloon? God, I'm so great at my own tier lists. He got a nose though, he's at the top. I don't care what you say. Uh, shark tooth necklace, uh, I'm actually a kind of fan of. Not crazy fan, like I'm gonna put it at low B tier. Some people would say the Shield of Cthulhu is an A tier accessory. I'm gonna go the extra mile and say that Shield of Cthulhu is an S tier accessory. And there is one particular reason why, and it's that Shield of Cthulhu lets you turn around instantly. That is so, so helpful for dodging, right? The, the difference between having to like slow down and then speed back up into another direction and immediately reaching max speed in the other direction is tremendous. And the amount of time that it becomes useful between when you obtain Shield of Cthulhu and when you could obtain an improved dodge is just too much. You do eventually get Tabby to upgrade it if you would like to, but I personally rarely ever do that. I don't really care about how long the dash is. I just need to turn around quickly. That's it. To me, that makes it S tier. Okay, what is this one? Shinobi Infiltrator Armor. All right, here we go again, Jesus Christ. Plus two max sentry, 60% increased minion damage, 20% increased melee damage, 20% increased melee attack speed, 20% increased melee critical strike chance, 20% increased movement speed, set bonus, increase your max number of sentries, plus three totals. Great, wait, plus three total. Greatly enhances lightning aura effectiveness. Jesus Christ, just go. Just, just, just. <sighs> Shiny red balloon. I lost my balloon. Um, okay, it goes here. Some people would say shiny stone is a C tier item. Uh, and I'm gonna disagree, and it's this is gonna probably come off as a bit silly to some people, but I'm going to put shiny stone at like the bottom of A tier. And the reason why is the same reason that a lot of people commented on that video. You don't really use shiny stone as an accessory. You use shiny stone because it's 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 a time saver, right? Like if I die to a boss and I want to fight that boss again, which definitely happens a lot, I can just equip shiny stone and I get to fight the boss faster, uh, assuming my nurse isn't on hand, right? Which plenty of times it's not. It's also used in AFK farms. It's there's a lot of usages uh, to shiny stone that I personally like a lot, to the point that I almost always in a vanilla playthrough when I get it, we'll keep it on my vanity accessory slot just to have available. Hey, look, it's the other one of those. Trimpy Truffle. Some people would say this is an S tier item. I mean, okay, look, if you use it to its full capacity, this is super mega ultra God level S tier, but I cannot be bothered to shoot myself with a water gun or to submerge myself in water over and over again in a boss fight. I like this guy. He is a good mount. He is reasonably usable, but I don't think he's S tier. I think he's low A tier to me. That's that's where I put Trippy Trumple. Trumple? <laughs> Trippy Trumple anyway. Shroomite armor. Kinda nuts. Kinda nuts so good. I'm gonna put it right up there. Uh, Shroomite armor is very strong and you can use it for all of your subclasses. I don't think I need to explain it too much. I think we all believe Shroomite armor is good. The sickle. Did you know that if you removed sickle from the game, you wouldn't be able to get hay, which means you wouldn't be able to get target dummies, which means you would not be able to force invincibility frames permanently upon yourself. It's pretty good. Uh, silver armor. My gut is to put it in low B tier. I don't make the full set ever, but I do get pieces of silver armor pretty often in my playthroughs. I want to put it there. I'm putting it there. No one can stop me. I've done it. It's too late. Silver watch on the other hand. I mean, why would you waste your precious silver on this thing? Like, why would you do that? It's even worse than Copper Watch, because it's more of a waste. 
Sitting Ducks Fishing Rod. Whenever I get this, I am over the moon. Dude, I am over the moon when I get this. Uh, Skeletron's Hand is a hook that you can get. And I like the idea, but beyond that, it's kind of a shrug to me. I find myself rarely using it, personally. Other people probably use it a decent amount, but not me. Skiff's paws are funny. I love them thematically. It's like, I don't have wings. I just flop my arms around hard enough and I'm in the air. Like, very cool. Thank you, Skiff. Sky blue string. I'm a big fan of this color. I am a big fan of that color. Thank you very much. Slimy hook. Slime hook's pretty solid. I think in vanilla, I don't use it quite as much, but I do use it a fair amount, um, like low B tier amount. Slimy saddle, on the other hand. I mean, yeah, you uh, you get to be permanently invincible if you use Slimy Saddle. And it's also useful for elevators. I don't think I really need to keep explaining why Slimy Saddle is the best. Sniper Scope, I believe is what this one's called. It is really, really strong, especially when used during the Moon Lord fight. It's right up there with True Might. The ability to have that extra leeway, not so that you can shoot things that are further away from you. If that's what you think this item is for, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. It's because you get more reaction time to dodge. And that's excellent. That's super good. Like, you know how sometimes you see an eyeball off screen that like starts shooting a laser and you weren't prepared for it? This gives you just that much more opportunity to maybe see it in time. Solar armor. It is a post Moon Lord armor and it is good. It has a dash all by itself. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, solar armor. You are great. I almost want to put, in fact, I'm going to put you all the way up there. I really like the idea that it has a dash all by itself. It requires certain circumstances to have the dash, but I I, I like that. I'm, I'm a fan of it. Maybe this should be higher. I don't know. I find, mm, not, mm, this is tough. Rating post Moon Lord stuff is surprisingly difficult because objectively it's used for nothing. I think that's fine. I don't think that's particularly incorrect to put those there. Solar wings are like the best wings. You get them, and they're very good. Sorcerer Emblem. Bam. Spectre Armor. Oh, man. Oh, man, Spectre Armor. 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 What if your armor set gave you lifesteal? And then there's also the option, if you decide, you can just do crazy wicked damage. I, d I mean, it's Spectre Armor. What are you going to do? Uh, this is Spectre Boots. Spectre Boots are quite nice. They give you the ability to fly um, without wings, which is cool. It's not super great flight, but it is, in fact, flight. And I am a fan of that. I think it goes right up there. Spectre Wings are as good as Frozen Wings. Spider armor is a relatively easy to obtain armor set that is kind of super nice for summoners. And I think it's ease to obtain is what's going to shoot it up to low A tier for me. Uh, this is spider egg in case you want a, a friendly little spidey boy. Very sweet, very cute, but arachnophobia nerf. Arachnopho- no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good one. I respect it. You can go up there. This is spooky armor. Spooky Spooky! I believe this is also a summoner set that's not that difficult to obtain. You kind of just farm the pumpkin wood. Spooky Hook. Spooky Hook has 34.375 tile reach, 15.5 velocity, and can hook three times. It is the Christmas hook, but in Spooky Hook form. Spooky Wings have uh, three flight time, 91 total height, and 150% speed. That is, in fact, better than Frozen Wings. We got there all by ourselves. Some people would say Spore Sack is an A tier item. And I'm sorry, but this is where I digress the furthest. I never use Spore Sack ever. Like if I have to go AFK immediately after killing Plantera, sometimes I use it. Like you could just throw an emblem in there and then you deal 15% more damage yourself instead of making Spores do it for you. I, I don't. I don't think I can agree on that one. I'm sorry. All right, here we go again, dude. It's fine. No, it's really fine. This is totally... What I'm about to say is okay and should happen. 
Plus one max sentries, 30% increased minion damage, 15% increased melee damage, 20% increased melee critical strike chance, 20% increased movement speed, increased life regeneration, set bonus, increases your max number of sentries plus two total, ballista pierces more targets, and panics when you take damage. I don't even know where to put them anymore. I'm just gonna put them there and call it a day, because old one's army is ridiculous, dude. And here is the shield, the, the variant of all the other ones. I don't know why these all do the same thing. It's kind of weird. Staff of Regrowth is cool for farming potions. It has, like, no downsides, and it's cool and helpful. There you go. Star Cloak! I... For something that does so little, it has a lot of things it turns into. And I just don't, like, I've never... Because why would you use this alone when you could turn it into all the other things? You could. And I'm sure I have once or twice. But, man, I really just, I don't see the point. Stardust Armor. I, I know. I rated Stardust Armor really low immediately after rating Emerald Splash S tier for a couple of seconds. But this is a pretty crappy weapon by itself. However, as a full set, I like it. I don't like it the most. I think it's probably the least interesting of the set bonuses, but it is there. Uh, speaking of which, Stardust Wings. They are as good as Solar, but I do usually use Solar instead. It's the Star Veil. It's the combo of the, the the Cross Necklace and the Star Cloak, I think. I think it's like very low C tier for me. Like right there. Static Hook. Uh, this is Steampunk Wings, which if I remember correctly, are not good at all. They have three flight time, 91 maximum height, 150% speed. That's better than Frozen. What the heck? Oh, these are like, oh. These are actually good. They're like Leaf Wings 2.0, where you just buy them. Stopwatch exists. I don't really care about it, but it exists. You can go there with the fish stuff. Congrats. Proud of you. I, why would you ever use this? Jesus Christ. Ugh, no. Summoner Emblem. Bonk. Sudden Stone. Pretty good. You really want to turn it into Celestial Shell though. Let's be real. Super Absorbent Sponge. It, uh, it has its usage and it serves it well. For that, it is there. Some people... Suspicious looking tentacle is A tier. It's the best light pet. This is my favorite name of any item in this game. It's the Sweetheart Necklace. I love that. That's really funny. It sucks. I would never use it. I would never make it. But, but I love the name. It's very fun. Thank you for being you, Sweetheart Necklace. This is the Tabby. It is a better dodge. If you wanted to just get this and use it, I could actually see that being a thing, which is the only one of the Master Ninja Gear items that I could say that about. I personally think it's unnecessary. I think the Shield of Cthulhu is good enough, but if you wanted to get this and it would make you happy, it is an improvement over your build, and I think it's worth it. There you go. Tabby. Tackle Box makes you less likely to use bait. That is very good. Thank you, Tackle Box. You are very good. Thank you. Tally Counter. Uh, this is very. This is just for fun and for banners, but that's it. It's cute to have, I enjoy it. Uh, tartar sauce, get a mini minotaur from the sea. I don't know, I like it, it's kinda cool. It's not like crazy good, but it's all right, it's a decent pet. These are tattered fairy wings, which, and this might be crazy, but they are better than frozen wings. I just don't think it's super easy to come by them, so. And you could just get the steampunker wings instead. This is, what color of string? This is teal. String. Nah, that's too bright for me. Tendon hook. I almost want to put down here because it's one of those things that actually gets to me and makes me squeamish for no good reason. In actuality, it's it's up here with a luminant hook. A little bit worse because you're less likely to fight the Crimson Mimic, but people love their fetid backnax. Grand design. It is the be all end all for builders. If you are a builder, this is an absolute essential item for you. I'm going to put it up way in A tier for you. The plan. It sure does turn into the Ankh charm. Thorn hook. You are just as good as the uh, Mimic hooks while dropping from Plantera, which makes me wonder why I would use you instead of the other ones. Tiger climbing gear. Tiki armor is pretty dang solid. Slightly worse than spooky armor, but it's pretty good. I'm a fan. Tiki totem. I like it. It's referential. That's fun. I personally wouldn't use it, but it is fun. Tin armor, <laughs> because Apparently, copper wasn't good enough for you. 
Uh, tin watch, because apparently copper wasn't good enough for you. The Titan Glove, which I think is just knockback, and if it is, I have bad news for the Titan Glove. It's, it's, it's just knockback. Okay, uh, have a nice day. Titanium Armor. Like, wow, wow, like, wow. Like, Titanium Armor is wow. It's really good. It's, I mean, Jesus, man. Titanium Armor is so strong. You could use it, like, all the way up to freaking Golem and beyond, dude. It's so good. It's stupidly good. It should not be as good as it is. And yet, here we are. A free dodge every now and then that is telegraphed. I need to stress the part that it being telegraphed is really important. It's just insanely powerful. It's just ridiculously powerful. All right, what does tool belt do? Increases the range of block placement by one. Okay. What's the toolbox to? Increases item placement and tool range by one. Okay. Tope is hook. I'll put it with the other hooks that aren't with the other other hooks. I don't know. Oh wait, isn't Topaz like the worst? Anyway, Topaz robe. <laughs> I don't know. Put it with the rest of the robes. For the toy sled, which is a pet that I've never used and I don't remember it being good. It's, it's a thing. I personally would, would not have used it, but other people would probably. Trifold map. It sure does turn into the Onk Charm. Uh, tsunami in a bottle is nice. It is a double jump. That's cool. Thank you. Tungsten armor is in the same situation as silver armor, but uh, I like it a little bit more. And the watch, which uh, in the same vein as silver is a huge waste and you should not make that. Turtle armor sucks. So bad. I hate it. You upgrade it to Beetle as soon as you possibly can. And getting this armor is so taxing, but it is good. And I will give it the credit for being good by putting it in B tier. But it infuriates me how obnoxiously hard it is to get this armor. It's not even hard. I don't know why I say hard. It's just annoying. Umbrella! You can go right there. I feel like that's an appropriate place to put it. Unlucky Yarn. This spawns a kitty that's wearing a witch hat, which is, um, uh, that's, that's, I need to stress the fact that that is very good. That's really good. All right, here we go again. <clears throat> Plus two max sentries, 60% increased minion damage, 20% increased melee critical strike chance, 30% increased movement speed, massively increased life regeneration. Set bonus, increase your max number of sentries plus three total, greatly enhances ballista effectiveness. Have fun. This is Viking Helmet. It gives you four defense. This is Violet String. I actually like this color quite a bit. Like that's a, that's the, I, th these shades of purpley pink did not hit it. This one did though. Vitamins are in fact an Og Charm crafting recipe. Vortex Armor is not, however. I think it goes there. I think it fits nicely in between these three. I think these three are the iconic broken sets. And then there's the Vortex Booster, which is similar to Nebula Mantle in that it is not as good as the other wings, but it does have hoverboard effect, which is cool. Warrior emblem. You can go here with the other emblems. Congratulations. So you should probably go like there. Water walking boots. If you get them ever, they are useful for the very beginning of the game, which is kind of nice. You are never going to get this item though. I promise you that. Uh, weather radio. Sure is. Web Slinger. This is a fan favorite hook for a lot of people. I'm gonna be honest, my take on it, it's overrated. However, I know people love this hook. And as a result, I'm gonna put it in A tier. It's unique, for sure. Having eight hooks is kind of nuts, so bonkers silly. And that's fun, but there you go. The white horseshoe balloon. Is that from the regular cloud in the bottle? Yes. It must be, right? That would make sense. There it is. This is the white string there. Will's Wings. I like what Will is going for. I like it. I don't know if I like it super crazy much, but I like it. Uh, Wire Cutter is cool. There you go. Go right there. Wisp in a Bottle. 
it's pretty good. I think this is a fan favorite light pet for a lot of people. I certainly like it when I get it. It's not my favorite, but I can put it up there because it's pretty solid. Wizard hat. I think by the time you've killed Tom, you don't really need a wizard hat. But it is fun to wear. So I'll put it here. There, that one. Look, I said Tim, okay? You all think I didn't say Tim, but I definitely said it, okay? Okay? Uh, this is just regular wooden armor. I think plenty of us have made this. It's the easiest to get. I'm a little too lazy to get like boreal armor. I just put that there. Wooden fishing pole. You need it, but I don't want it. But you need it when you start fishing. It's, yeah, it helps. This is the worm hook, which I don't think I knew existed. I don't think I was aware that this was an item and it's the hook from the corrupt mimic. I guess that goes to show how bad the corrupt mimic is. What a funky looking thing. I love it. Some people would say worm scarf is S tier. It absolutely is. Uh, it's pretty not so bonkers. In fact, it should probably go like up there, I think. It's pretty crazy good. It's really, really strong. A yellow counterweight. I don't love it. I don't, I don't love it. Yellow horseshoe balloon. There you go. That's, that's the, that's the thing. Yellow string. <sighs> Yellow wrench. This is your razor's spell, which is a very fun set of wings. Big fan. Thank you, your razor. That's a fun, nifty idea. Yo-yo bag. Guys, the yo-yo subclass isn't strong enough. We need to make it stronger. What do we do? Yo-yo bag. Problem solved. Yo-yo glove. Similarly, pretty dang good. We'll put it like right there. What do you need to upgrade yo-yo glove? Is it nothing? Is it just string? What do you need for yo-yo bag? Uh, you use white string yo-yo glove and a counterweight. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, okay. You're not as relevant now because you can be immediately crafted away. And finally, our last precious boy, a fisherman's best friend, the Zephyr fish. He's like high C tier. There you have it. The tier list in its full completed state. Every accessory, every armor set, all the mounts, a bunch of stuff. Everything you could ever want to rate related to equipment in Terraria. All put together in a lovely compact list. <sighs> That's the third time around. The Calamity Weapons list is in the works. I apologize it has taken so long to get done. They kind of threw a curveball by changing the majority of the weapons in the mod, so I have to retest them all. And it's gonna take me about 10 hours total to probably do it. And I'm in the middle of a move, so it'll take me some time. But it'll be here soon. As for this video, if this video hits 100,000 views, I don't know anymore. You can tell me what I want to rate next. If, if you are watching this video on YouTube, just comment what the next tier list should be. I'm assuming you guys want me to rate the tiles next. I could do that. <laughs> I don't know if I really should, but go ahead. Tell me what I should rate next. If this hits 100,000 views, I will do another tier list along with the Calamity tier list. There you go. But that is all. Thank you all for watching live. Thank you all for watching on YouTube through the tier list. If you watch the whole thing, you are absolutely spectacular and I appreciate you a bunch. I'm glad that people seem to appreciate them for what they are, uh, because if they if they didn't, uh, man, that would suck because these take like hours to make. So yeah, uh, th thank you for watching these. I appreciate it. Um, as always, I hope you understand that, that uh, I'm not trying to just hop on the trend here because tier lists are very much a trendy thing to do. Um, I'm trying to spice it up by doing the absurdly long ones, right? I feel like that's what makes these fun, is by taking the concept and stretching it to a degree that is so needless and useless that it becomes amusing. So yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to uh, hit, comment on the like button and ring the report to get notified when I post next time. 
That's how YouTube works, right? I'm not very good at this whole thing. Uh, thank you for being here. I don't know how to end these things because they take four hours and then I have to end them in like a minute, which feels disproportionate, but that's okay. Calamity Weapon List soon. More videos soon. I promise. You're all great. Thank you for watching.